So we'll go to the G button or the arrow pointing up at the, the seed sprout here. And that's going to take us to our planter setup. So uh, say we have been planting uh, soybeans or we've been planting corn. Now we want to go to soybeans. So uh, we want to do a single rate on our whole planter. We're going to tell it here it's beans. And then we tell it here what our, uh, what our seed disc or our seed bowl is on this exact emerge planter. Uh, you can change this to either be 31 or uh, 16 rows, depending on what configuration you have set up there. Or say you got finished planting for the year, and then it's the next year. Now you want to go back to corn. I need to make sure you change these uh, these settings here. That way the planter knows that you've got the right seed disc in there, and the monitor knows you've got the right seed disc in there to show you the uh, population that you want to achieve. So if we go to our rates, we can set up different rates for what we might want to do. Um, you can set one rate for 36,000, one for 25. Uh, say we want to do this one for 36,500 here. And if we check that box, we can go back to our planner run page and then cycle through those targets that we have here that we want to choose from. Uh, so say we're, um, you know, we want to plant so much to the well and then we want to change well, instead of having to getting out like on a ground drive planter change your sprockets and your chains over uh, we can just hit that and now we're at the target we want to be at 